Hello, Jamalov here and in this Dark Souls 2 guide I will show you how you can farm for petrified dragon bones. I'm doing this in Aldia's Keep, killing these dragon acolyte enemies in the area. There's four of them relatively close to this uh, hidden bonfire in the middle of the keep. I will show you where the entrance is in just a moment. I'm using the item discovery maximizing items like the gold serpent ring plus one that you can get from the merchant in iron keep if you buy enough things from him and also the prisoner hood and prisoner tatters that you can get from hollow enemies for example in the gutter. You can also get the jester's cap from the merchant in iron keep or the hat from uh, hat from Melentia early in the game in the Forest of Fallen Giants to improve your item discovery and also use rusted coins before a bit of before starting the farm run. These enemies stop respawning after you have killed them 15 times so you can get these four enemies 60 times in total and uh, if you do that you can expect to get quite a lot of petrified dragon bones. I did the run here three times and I got two petrified dragon bones in total, so that's probably the rate you can expect. One, one every eight enemy maybe. I don't know the exact numbers. But after I got these four enemies, I will return to the bonfire, rest and go back. The entrance to the bonfire is here, it is normally hidden. Open the secret door by using the activate key, not breaking the wall and you will find it. You will also need a key from this uh, armor destroying um, liquid. Do remove your armor and uh, rings before going in there and then get the key. That will open the door I'm going through uh, after getting these through, getting these two that are in the corridor behind the paintings. When killing these guys that are initially hiding behind those paintings, make sure they drop down before you kill them. So uh, you don't lose the loot like I did with the other guy there in the corridor. But that was my first petrified dragon bone for this run, and that called for a fist bump as I was really happy to get it. But uh, here you can see the see the loot there in the in the where the enemy was standing, and uh, I can, I can't get that. You can't jump up there. You can't reach it. So uh, do, do make sure that they drop before you uh, before you. Uh, kill them. I tried and tried and tried, but I couldn't get it. And I'm sure that would have been a petrified dragon bone. Oh well, you can also get the petrified dragon bones from the dragons in Dragon Airy and from the, possibly, from the crystal lizards in Brightstone Cove and in Dragon Airy. So while going through those areas, I highly recommend using the item discovery maximizing gear and the rusted coin if you want to make sure you get uh, as many petrified dragon bones as possible. In the, in the late game, the stone trader Gloan sells free petrified dragon bones for a hefty price, but uh, it's it's better than uh, better than nothing. So uh, do uh, do make sure you uh, you buy those from her as well. I got my second one, and. Uh, returned to the bonfire, rested and went at it again. But that's it for this video. I will show you the gear I'm wearing and then uh, wrap up this video. As mentioned, I was using the prisoner hood and the prisoner tatters that you can get from the hollow enemies, at least in the gutter and in the undead crypt. You can get the jester's cap or the, or the traveler's traveling merchant's hat from Melentia and the Kovata Skull Cold Serpent Ring from, uh, from the Merchant in Iron Keep if you buy enough things from him. The Cheldora Manchets and Trousers increase the number of souls, which is a nice bonus while you are farming, because you will get more souls while at it. But that's it, I hope you found this guide useful, I hope you get all the petrified dragon bones you need, and uh, do hit the like button on the video, any questions, comments on the comment section, and I will see you next time.